Today, in our burn deck, we're playing Elemental Dogs. Let's get started. What is going on guys? My name is Jeffrey Good. Today we're gonna play a little list. Uh, in my last video I told you guys to suggest me some list. And now we're gonna play one of them. Don't worry if you suggest me suggesting me a list, and if it's not this one, it will be done sooner or later. So, what is going on in this list? I'm calling this list Burn Wayward Wayward Guide Beast or Akum Hell Hellhound, whatever you want to call it. Very weird list, honestly. Um, it looks more like a prowess list than a burn list as you have soul scar mage um monastery swiss beer lava dart really really weird list if you ask me um all of this splashing for white is only for boros charm you have some raven up ruins in your sideboard you have four lava spike in your sideboard so of course this is not my list but i decided to play exactly the same uh, because you suggest this, uh, suggested me to play this list. Maybe at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what I would uh, replace to make the deck even better, or in my opinion, uh, make the deck more um, like less awkward, I, I would say. So, uh, we have this card, which is a 1 mana 0 1, landfall again plus 2 plus 2. So nice syner synergy with your fetches. Uh, you only have 18 lands because your curve is a lot lower. Most of your curve is one. Um, so we have four Missa, four Wooded Foot Hills, four Inspiring Vintage, four Sacred Foundries, and two Mountains. After that, we have the typical Goblin Guy Monastery Swiss Spear. We have, in addition to those, uh, Soul Scar Mage and Wayward Guide Beast. Uh, this card. Uh, synergies with this card because you play this, you play this, you get a bag of land, and you just pretty much have infinite, infinite trigger of landfall every single turn. After that, we have Lightning Bolt, of course. Every red deck is playing four bolts, pretty much. Uh, Lava Tart works well with Mana Swiss, Monastery Swiss Spear and Soul Scar Mage. Boar Charm, I guess, can give your great creature double strike and deals for damage or protect your creatures. I guess it's it's a pretty good synergy with this deck. Two Blaze. Uh, this card, I don't know if it belongs in this deck, but we're gonna try that out. For Light of the Stage, I like it because your, your curve is really slow, uh, not slow, sorry, is really low. So it works well with uh, low curves. And for Secure the Critics, I mean... Yeah, I guess if you plan to do Lava Dart and Light Up the Stage, you might as well do a Security Critic, so that's fine, I guess. After that, we have four Spike in our sideboard. I guess it's for, like, John matchups. You want to bring more uh, burn spells and less creatures. Four Smashes and Smithereens. Anti-Artifact decks. I don't know if four is necessary, but we're going to go with that. Uh, three Ramen Up Runes. This one, honestly, I'm not too sure. Um, I guess if you want more lands, because 18 is a bit low. And for Bar Pirate Spell Bomb, this one I guess is for Eric Champion and Corfar Walker Hate, um, being able to kill it even in a mono red deck. But the thing is, you're splashing white, so I guess you could play those paths, but we're gonna play the list as it was intended, and let's go straight up to run number one. Okay, here we are in run number one, we're on the play. No lands. Let's stick them all. And two lands. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna keep. <clears throat> um, what do we put to the bottom though? So we have two Souls Car Mage. So we keep Lava Dark for sure. Um, works really well with this. We don't have an Akum Hellhound, so I guess we could put the Wayward Guide Beast to the bottom. Borch Charm. Always a powerful burn spell and it can protect our soul scar mages so let's fetch shock for foundry play soul scar mage and pass
Mm -hmm. Temple card, noble like, noble like. Oh, like security Creeks does it though. So let's grab a another Foundry, I guess. They're playing white, they might have um path. Just gonna kill this before it gets too annoying. Rather than play the other Soul Scar Mage. Get in there for three pass turn. We'd love to see a light up the stage, maybe. Like flashback level dart light up. Because we're getting low on resources. Opponent is still at 13. I guess I'm gonna take a land. I'm gonna hold the charm for now. Guess my opponent might path this whole skirmage. I'm gonna hold it. We don't have a lot of resources, like I said. Yeah, doesn't matter. They have a path. So yeah, um, a light of the stage would be great. And now we have an extra mountain that we can sack, so that's good. Iliad, okay, so we have to kill our opponent fast. Light up, please. Uh, another charm would have been good also. I think I'm gonna go for charm, just put maximum damage on my opponent. If they have it, they have it, so... Fortunately, a land doesn't do it. I'm gonna keep this at land in case we draw one of our two Searing Blaze. And this dart uh, will stay into the yard for now because if they have a Spike Feeder, uh, we might like threat our opponent with one card in hand and one card in the uh, another dart in the yard. And it doesn't do anything right now, just adding two damage, bring us bring our opponent to four. Unless we top deck another charm. They do have the feeder. Will they go for it? No. Nice. Alright, so again, we don't have lethal. So they're technically at 9. You have to kill this for sure because they're just going to give it life gain attack. So I'm going to hard cast this cure. They're going to, in response, <sighs> remove the to token. They can gain this life. Da -da -da, in response to the trigger, Lava Dart. They're gonna gain another two. So they're gonna be at nine. Alright. So please don't have another feeder. Our matchup right off the bat. Attack for a three. Down to six. Hope they don't have anything else. And unfortunately, our top decks are really bad because we have a lot of creatures that doesn't do anything. We don't have a lot of burnt spells top deck to finish the game. That is fine. Apparition? Oh, maybe it's... Oh, Tyranid Magistrate. Are we playing CD8? Okay. Just going to hard cast Skewer again.
try to attack for two. Main deck, Magistrate. That's interesting. Yes, it stops for Lava Lords. I'm pretty sure they just top deck top deck at that because they would have played it last turn, right? Uh Yep. We just needed like the turn that we drew a line, we just needed one burn spell or light up the stage, and that was game. So I think against this matchup, I'm gonna side out the charms. Um, bring in four spell bomb. Do I want anything else? Not really. Hmm. I guess I could try to go for a faster clock by removing like. Um, like look, the creatures that are a bit more awkward against their deck because they're gonna go do some chump blocking. I guess the four spell bomb helps a bit, so that's it for now. Just ch four charm for four, four spell bomb. All right, I think that's a pretty good hand. I'm gonna keep. So, do we start on Goblin Guide or Akum? I think it's gonna be Akum because next turn we can attack for four with it. So, Akum go. Hope my opponent doesn't have a path. Nice. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> we can love adore this. So, what if for the hills? Trigger. <clears throat> Fetch or a mountain trigger. Going to play Wayward Guide Beast. Bring back my vintage into my hand, I think. Because we don't have another line in hand, so if we don't top deck another line next turn, this plays better. And we have more chance of not of not top decking another line than, than we do. So I think this play is better than playing Golden Guide. <clears throat> and if we do top deck another line, like a fetch, that's also fine. So, opponent cannot play Arak Champion, which is really good for us, because that stops our creatures a bit. Alright, so we did top deck another line, so play the line, trigger, Goblin Guide. Goblin God. <laughs> we do have a lot of one drops in this deck, so if you're playing against like Tron, this deck is probably better than typical burn. You just have so many one drop. <clears throat> and we don't really care to bring back a line into our hand because we don't have anything else to do anyway. So I guess I'm gonna bring the vintage again, yeah. <laughs> Nice, that's pretty cool. When it works, it works, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna go back with this again. <clears> okay, <throat> I think that's also a pretty good hand. I'm gonna keep. We do have a bolt, which is good to kill a creature. <clears throat> Fortunately, we're, we're gonna have to bolt this, even though I would love to play my Hellhound, just for the reason that if they have a Sprawl, uh, the game is, might be over if they have a Sprawl, so we're gonna kill it. Wow, no play. Okay, um... Play. I guess the Hellhound is bad now that we don't have any more lands. So guide. 
fetch for another, I guess, Sacred Foundry, because my opponent might have Path. Uh, Swiss Spear, I guess my opponent is probably holding a Purge, if they don't do anything, turn two. Or, um, what it's called? Ella Mary's Recall? The uh, two mana instant fetch for something, for a creature. Alright, Path actually, I don't really care about Path, because that way we can play like pretty much everything in our hand next turn. <clears throat> that is fine. They kept that in against us, which is a bit weird. So we're gonna play this. Play this. Attack. If they don't block the Wayward Guide Beast, that would be... Like, they have to block the Wayward Guide Beast because we are gonna bring back our land and Searing Blight their creature. Come on. No. They're too smart. That's fine, I'm just gonna play my Hellhound and pass. <clears throat> Oh, they didn't want the Karn. Alright. So, a fetch land or light up the stage next turn would be great. I guess it's a good blocker against us, but... Except for Light Up the Stage and Lava Dart, doesn't do anything. <clears throat> oh no, we don't want to draw Light Up the Stage because of this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, they did have another Karn, so that's why they, don't, they didn't want to draw that Karn. Are we gonna see a Unity Sphere? Bridge. All right, that's annoying. Guide. Swiss spear. Think I'm gonna swing um, some creatures at Karn because we don't have lethal yet, and we need Karn out of the way. So I'm gonna go face with this one. I'm gonna go at Karn and Karn. So, no matter what, Karn is dead. My opponent cannot block a creature and Karn will, uh, wouldn't die. So, Heliod is annoying, obviously. I guess they're just gonna block this one. Oh, they blocked the guide. Which is attacking Karn? What? That's interesting. I think my opponent made a, a small mistake, mistake there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the blaze right now. It's a bit sad because we don't have a trigger with uh, Akum, but that's fine. And they're gonna play Brit probably next turn, so... Uh, if I draw a land, they, it might never attack again. But actually, they're gonna have four cards in hand, so... They might not have the time to play the bridge. And have... Oh, no. They're gonna have bridge now. So... Everything in our team can still attack, actually. <laughs> Unless they have another play. Like, bridge, path. Yep. Have anything else? If they don't have anything else, we win, I think. Oh, they have something. Uh, it doesn't matter, you're dead, you're still dead. Unless you have a zero drop. Oh no, you. 
Right. You just say fail, fail to search. Uh, all right. So I think. No, I have to play this because it, it won't be able to attack now. Now, but next turn I'm gonna be able to attack with it. So attack for two. They're down to two. Next turn, no matter what they play, I still I can still attack with it because it's gonna be a zero power fetch, and we win. I think they need to top deck a path or a way to gain some life. Or a blocker. So... They still have some outs. It's a very interesting Hilliard company list with Karn and Karn package. I don't like it. I wouldn't... If I was playing Hilliard, I think I wouldn't play the Karn package, but I, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not playing this archetype, really. But... Just the plan to just go wider than your opponent, have more value at any moment, you can win infinite. Because they have to trim some cards to bring in this package. And another good thing is, if they don't want to die, they have to not play cards. Um, like... Playing this means they won't have a uh, company or something. Okay. I guess we attack. Before damage, fetch. Going to shock because we have light up. Doesn't work like enchantment does. Uh, nice one. All right, that was really fun. We beat Hilliard Company with this deck. <laughs> Let's go to round number two. All right, round number two. Um, for a deck that has 18 lines, <laughs> I think we have a little too much lines. Uh, all right, I'm gonna keep this one, but that's still a lot of lines. Oh, we're playing against Doomwake. Uh, let's keep... Put a Wooded Foothills to the bottom. So Doomwake is playing like Control. I think with this hand we're gonna lose. <laughs> it's not a great hand, we're on the draw, so... Alright. Soul Scar Mage, go. So I'm not gonna play the Wayward Guide Beast, the reason is I want to have at, at the very least two lands anytime on the battlefield against control. If I would have played the Wayward Guide Beast, I would be stuck to one land every single turn. So I'm gonna play it post-combat. Um, I'm just gonna play Soul Scars and uh, Guide Beast post-combat. Okay, they're on Electro Dominance. Wow! <laughs> Okay, I think this game is over. <laughs> Alright, um, do we even show them what we're on? I think we don't. I think we just concede. Yeah. We have no way we can win against two Rhinos, and I don't want to show them which deck I'm, I'm on, so I'm just going to concede. 
So this deck plays Restore Balance. I'm gonna cut some creatures. Um, I think Wayward Guide Beasts are probably the worst against this deck. And they have Restore Balance, so they can cut off uh, some of our lands. I'm gonna bring three lands in. Uh, probably cut Syrian Blaze. And I don't want to have 21 lands, so just 20. Bring in some Lava Spikes. Um, don't want the spell bombs. Thing just gonna go like that. Yep. All right. Second try. I'm gonna keep this one. Looks actually like just a normal burn hand. Living and flying, okay. We don't have any graveyard hate. <laughs> no matter, we couldn't do anything no matter what. Because here's the thing you play uh, Footfalls one game, and then the other game you play Living and, and then you can switch or not. That's the plan with this deck. Um, but we don't have any graveyard hate in this list, so it doesn't matter. Um, Alright, let's get in there for four. West and Brazen Bower. Okay. Very weird list. Um, so let's just. If they have Dominant Splish Footfalls, I cannot play Radia around it, so I'm just gonna go straight up into it. We do have Lethal if they have nothing. They say go to damage. Alright, um, whoops. Restore balance. Oh, just living in for street wraith. Oh no, right, kills my board. Right, right, right. So we know we have the Anaither Goss and we have Charm, so the, the second that they tap out, we win. Aether Goss, come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, yes! No force. No force. Well, well, Boar Charm, Boar Charm for the win. I guess we do just go back straight up into it. Again, we don't have Graveyard Hate. We don't have, honestly, we don't have anything to interact with them. It's just, we try to race and that's it. I'm gonna keep this. It's an okay burn hand. Um, do I keep this fetch? I think I do. I'm gonna keep the fetch in my back pocket in, in case I draw Akum Hellhound in like the light of the stage or something. Alright, so my opponent cannot Simeon Spirit, uh, sorry, cannot play Electoral Dominance unless they have Simeon Spirit Guide, so I'm gonna attack. Uh-uh-uh. Going to try to light up the stage, see if it resolves. It does resolve, so I'm gonna play Mesa Fetch. Or a mountain 
play the Soulscar Mage and pass. So a lot of lands, but we do have this, so might be able to crack it. Actually, we have enough mana to crack it. Alright, so I think a Living End would be pretty annoying. Just a 4 4 though, but that's a pretty good clock. As for Toll is on the battlefield, so I really hope they don't have this, <laughs> which they do. Alright, so we're just gonna go for try to burn your face and that's pretty much it. Fortunately, we don't, we don't have like as much burn spells as we do in our normal burn list. And they're at 9, we don't have any burn in hand except for this. Yep. Okay. So we need like... Double... Force Charm. <laughs> Thing, no matter what, we're dead. Alright, we drew a lot of lands this game. Yep, yeah, another line. Alright, let's get straight up to round number three. Alright, round number three, we're on the draw. Um, we don't have a lot of creatures for our 20 creature deck. But that, that's the old keep, I mean, we have one creature, double light up, some burn. I'm gonna keep this. Ta -ta -ta. Seas from Coast. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna play Soul Scar, Soul Scar Mage over Swiss Spear. Um, so next turn we can go Swiss Spear. Um, light up. Okay. Still not too sure what my opponent is on. Hmm. All right. I think I'm just going to go Soulstar Mage attack. See if it uh, hits, and then light up. Since I drew this, I might want to just play this rather than than the Swiss Spear. Hope I can get some lands if, if it resolves like a mountain. It does resolve. Nice. So, shock that in, play the uh, elemental dog, pass. If it resolves. Alright. So, next turn, if everything goes to plan, we have a lot of damage coming in. Alright, so it's uh, Esper Control, maybe? Not too sure why they Flutter Strand um, in their turn, and then I guess they maybe they drew Serum Visions. That's, that might be like the only explanation, honestly. Alright, so it's gonna get in for 4. Love that. So we want to play this and this. So... And probably light up the stage. Yeah. So let's go... To combat. Attack. 
So my opponent might have a uh, path to exile, so let's chuck that in. Trigger. Get in there for six. Second main, I'm gonna light up the stage. We got Light Up and Lightning Bolt, that's very good. So let's play the Soul Scar and pass. Next turn, again, if everything goes to plan, I think that's lethal. <laughs> what? Demon attack! Oh my god, we're playing a, like a very uh, untraditional... Oh, my opponent just conceded. But why did it play this before conceding? Oh my god. We're playing a very untraditional deck. And so far we're playing against Karn Hilliard, um, Shenanigans Living End, and Timonic Pact, I guess, Enchantments Esper. It's a really funny league, honestly. It's a lot of fun so far. So I'm gonna bring all of Lava Spikes. I think I'm gonna cut two creatures. Uh, maybe not, but usually Esper Colors have no difficulty to, to kill creatures if, you, if they play Fiddle Push. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna cut two creatures, probably just the uh, one Wayward and one Akum. And I think I'm gonna bring all of these Remnap. Cut a Mesa. Guess I'm gonna cut two Mesas. Um, yep, I think that's it. I think against Control. Having the Ravenap runes is probably better since the game tend to go longer. But again, I'm not too sure what they're on. Or maybe they're just a meme deck trying to win. Uh, even though we have only one line, I think I'm still gonna keep because of this. If we never get a line for the rest of the game, this can still provide two mana a turn, so that's pretty good. So let's start off with Grabbing Guy. I would like to start off with this, but we don't have another line, so I have to start with the guide. My opponent might pass one of my creature, would be which would be great. This Love Lord is looking really bad. As we don't have any Prowse creatures, we don't have any mountains. <laughs> uh yeah. That's one of my problems with this deck, but I'm gonna talk, talk about it at the end of the video. So I think we Wayward Guide Beast. Hope it, it connects. Hope it resolves first. Maybe they have a Mana Leak? Nope. All right. Path. All right, they've had the good one. If they didn't pad this one, I would have one more mana so we could like light up the stage. But they did path the good creature. But it doesn't really matter because they just gave us a line. So I guess that's a fine trade. Just our turn two was not really explosive. But right now, everything in our hand costs one, so. We're fine on lands. We can work with this. Alright, so let's play guy number two. Try to get in there for four.
Do you want to do something before that? Why, why would you do this? Hmm. Weird decision by my opponent. But it doesn't matter since we have a dart, but... They could have done it like after I declare my attackers, after the triggers. Just to have more information. I guess I also did a misplay by not Lavatar doing Lavador before attacking. Because if they had a force, they could have they could have like traded two blue cards for one guide. Pretty much. I think my opponent has a lot of lands, because they have six, two Field of Rain that we know. Supreme? Yep. Alright. Supreme is... It's fine. Let's bolt your face. I think we light up. Hope we get a land and skewer. Land. Nice. Um, uh, do we light up again or we play Skewer? I think we play Skewer this time. Because next turn we can Lava Dart, play Light Up the Stage and double Skewer. Yeah, I think bringing them down to 3 is probably better. The only thing that punishes this is like timely reinforcements. Lightning Bolt is also really good. So, um, Floater Red, try to Lava Dart you. They say it's okay, so I'm going to try to skewer the critics. Ah, okay. I had another skewer and a lightning bolt ready, but I guess they just didn't want to cryptic command. I don't know. Alright, let's get around number four. Alright, round number four. On the play, two creatures and a dart and two prize creatures as well. Let's keep keep a Reno. So far, we're getting a good amount of lands for only an 18 land deck. Like sometimes in a 18 land deck, you're gonna mull a lot just because of your lands. All right, Thoughtseize. First annoying matchup for us, perhaps, like Junt. Even Ragdoll's midrange is probably bad for us. Um. I think I'm just going to Thor Charm your face and attack for two. And that's pretty much it. Wow. It's the new, um, what's called, um, don't remember the name, Secret Lair? The new, like, rock and roll Secret Lair. That's really nice art. I think that was Assassin's Trophy, Dreadbore. Um, don't remember all the cards, uh, but a lot of pretty good cards, and the art are really like amazing. All right, so we're in brain trouble right now because we don't have anything. Opponent is at twelve. I mean, that's fine, I guess. So, let's kill this. Wayward Guide Beast, get in there. Let's take back this, replay it, fast turn. So, obviously, this is a bad matchup because they have a lot of removal spells. 
We cannot kill their Cruxa. We don't have Graveyard Hate. We don't have Path. Um, we're a bit... We're a bit vulnerable to a lot of things. Blood Moon is fine. And now we're gonna top deck a Boar Charm. Um, I'm gonna keep the lands in my hand. Doesn't really matter. Because I'm gonna get back a land, replay it. So right now I have like infinite lands. Infinite. Oh, that's annoying. We have to draw like Light of the Stage to provide us some value because it's the only way we're gonna get out of this one, I think. Unless my opponent never gets a Crux and never finishes the game. Uh, but eventually we're gonna draw lands, creatures that cannot attack. Well, I guess I'm gonna play it. Get in there. Alright, um, let's love a dart. Did my opponent just forget or they knew about it and didn't care? Maybe they wanted to force us to do this? They want to draw a card, so... Yeah, we're in trouble. It... Alright, never mind. Go! So they can gain a lot of life. We're really not in a good position right now. Yep, we're in trouble. Alright, alright. It's a top deck. Gonna kill the Lily, I think. Like, they have a client to dust, so they're, they're really not um, laws of being dead. They still have a lot of things that they can do. Is their last card a push? No, just a K command. Bring back C. Wow, that's really gross. I think we, we can straight up concede from this. <laughs> I guess we're a burn deck, so we might top deck burn spells. Let's try it. Bone Crusher, okay. It's a pretty good pressure. Oh, that's that's pretty nice. Divinity on the top. Okay. Um Guess I'm gonna play it and attack. Attack their face now. Because if I attack the Lily, I think it doesn't really matter. We we don't have well, they had a fatal push. They draw they drew a fatal push from this season power, I mean. Alright, so no Kroxa, but they still have a client to dust that they can um, flashback, not flashback, uh, escape. They just decide to gain 3 life. Alright, let's concede. Okay, against this matchup, uh, Lava Spike is coming in. I'm gonna remove some creatures. Um, I think the worst one, probably Guide Beast. Do I want to bring this? Nah, it's too bad. This is too bad for for burn spell. 
I'd rather have a creature that dies to a removal spell than this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. It looks like a burn burn hand. Um Guess since it's a Ramanap ruins I can fetch shock, foundry, Gelding Guide. I think this hand is pretty good against them if they don't have uh, discard spells because they have so many ways to remove our creatures. We have to win through burn, I think. So the light of the stage are pretty good in this matchup because your opponent is going to discard your hand. You just draw a spell that gives you more cards. You just play a swamp, so they definitely have a push, but I'm, I'm still going to play into it. Oh, they have a push on top as well. So they're gonna have two, like, almost useless cards in hand. As we don't have a creature. Well, their bolt is looking bad, their push is looking bad. We're gonna charm before they play a Blood Moon. Ta -ta. That's bad. Let's just pass turn. <laughs> If we, if they don't gain life, and they don't have the discard spell, and we do top deck alliance, we win. Because that's 4 and that's 9, so line we win. Come on, come on, line. Alright, right, um, spike, go. They might have a line to dust again. Hold my face, what? That is fine. Just really funny that they brought this, all of this creature hate, but we just drew burn spell, burn spell, burn spell. Sure. Bolt on top. Um. Go. Ah, uh, no, actually, that was that was probably wrong, as we know they can kill it. And then, like, use four mana to gain three more life. But my plan was to protect my guy next turn. Yeah, that, that was probably wrong. Okay. Yeah, that was wrong. That was bad. But we have so many creatures in our deck that. We have to work with it somehow. So they have a Crux in the yard, they can bring back Crux on next turn. I'm gonna keep the Bolt in my hand just in case we top deck light up the stage. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna have to keep my white up. Actually, it doesn't matter, we won't have enough mana to play up a charm here. Come on, Bolt or Spike. Mm. Uh, Alright, so let's just play the guide. Pass turn. Uh, no, we have to attack because they have an EE, so it's gonna die anyway. They trade. They don't trade. They trade. They're good at two. Oh. Oh, that's that's a pretty cool card to have. Uh, I guess they're just gonna bring back the Cruxa. Or maybe climb to dust just to be sure they don't die and then the Cruxa. 
Uh, they, they maybe won't have enough... Oh yeah, now they don't have enough things in their yard to bring back the Kroxa. Now it doesn't really matter if I play my creature or not because they, they have enough creatures. They want to eat something else. Sure. How many pushes did they drew this game? One, two, three. So one, two, three, four. They don't have a Croxa yet. Blood Moon, feed the swarm, okay. Oh my god, they had another client to dust. Planted Dust is a card really annoying to beat if uh, if you don't have yeah, well we don't have any life gain hate in this deck we don't have any graveyard hate all right we're dead. Yeah, Ragdoll's mid-range is a really hard matchup for this deck, like Jun or mid -range, Ragdoll's mid-range. Really hard to beat. We have so many creatures, we don't have life gain hate, graveyard hate, so that's really hard. Alright, let's go to our final round. Alright, final round, we're on the draw. That's a keep. Um, we can cast everything in our hand, even the charm, because we have this. This provides us to mana turn the only problem that we have is that it's a shock line so <laughs> we're gonna take a lot of damage oh opt okay then that was a fetch shock bolt so them doing a fetch shock opt means they're an aggro deck yeah pretty much Figured that out. So, do we, we? Yeah, I think we play the Wayward Guide Beast. Hope they just kill the Swiss Spear. Oh my god, another uh, another Electro Dominance deck. Come on. Alright. We got us. What is this? We're playing against another Electro Dominance deck. Oh. Alright. Well, we're gonna do the same thing. this that we did so yep. uh, yeah that's a key I think the Soulscar Mage is probably better if my opponent has a knight another but falls because of a um never mind. Uh, we played guide. Mm. Alright, we have to play the guide. I was really like considering not playing the land and getting in there for four next turn, but I guess that's a bit too greedy. The guide will deal four 
if we attack with it. Uh, they have another electro <laughs> Uh, well, let's go. I guess we can not attack. That That's just dumb. Let's attack for two. Well, this time I'm not gonna concede because we have a lot of burn in hand, so we're gonna try it out. But they have 8 damage a turn, so that's quite a lot. And saw through our our bluff. We're gonna bolt enter. I oh, know they have lethal. I oh, know they don't have lethal. They're one off because we block. We take uh, seven. That's just ten. Unless they have double bolt. And bolt. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, three bolts. <laughs> well, well, um, all right. <laughs> Let's go for a small wrap up. All right, so small wrap up. We went two, three, which we beat two meme decks, honestly. <laughs> so I think this deck, um, like every. Zoe burn deck can go like a lot of have a big result But honestly if we go into a big tournament with 15 rounds, I wouldn't see this deck performing really great For the reason that a really good deck right now is Ragdoll's mid-range and we're gonna see so much of these That this deck would honestly have some difficulties And I think there's another problem with the deck is I think the person that built this deck um try to put like a burn deck and a prowess deck together but that's like there, there is some awkwardness to it some clunkiness first of all i think searing blaze goes in, into a burn deck but not in, again in a prowess zoe deck so awkward card for this um also another thing that i don't really like is you're splashing a lot of white just to play Borstrom, which is good, but you don't have anything in, in your sideboard for the charms, and you have like awkward. Um, this sideboard is a bit awkward, honestly. I think I would cut like the Remnant Ruins one smash. Four, I think, is a bit too much. Uh, Lava Spike, I think, is a card that could go in the main deck, so maybe cut two Searing Blaze and maybe cut. Um, like two darts. And I understand that darts works well with Source Car Mage and Monastery Swiss Spear, but honestly, when you don't get those, it's just bad. On it's just not a good card. It's good in a in a deck where you're always gonna have your um pro creatures and a deck with Monomorphos crash through. You're gonna you're gonna draw so many cards that you're gonna get those creatures eventually. But I think the Lava Darts. Uh, are not that great. I guess we could keep two, maybe replace them with another card. Um, and, uh, I want to change the deck, but not too much. I don't, I don't want to like change the deck completely. I want to keep the shell of the person that built it. Um, so now that we have white, honestly, why don't you play Luris? It's a uh, free card that you could get in your sideboard you we always every single game had double white 
And even if you don't get double white, where well, you just don't play a Lurus and that's it. Um, you have so many creatures that almost every single game you're going to be able to bring back something if you have your Lurus. After that, we're playing white, so against annoying creature decks that we cannot remove, uh, Path to Exile is the way to go. I understand, but Parrot Spellbomb helps you with our Champion and protection from, from uh, red, but it's just, other than that, doesn't do anything in most matchups. So I guess we could cut two of those to bring the four path, uh, three paths, sorry, or even four if you want, if we want. Um, I guess I could bring four, honestly. We have so many creatures, we just want to remove everything, get in with our creatures. I guess we can get in, uh, keep two spirit spell bomb. Honestly, we need also some graveyard hate. So I think if we have Lurus, uh, Surgical Extraction would be the way to go. Or Soul Guide Lantern would be also cool. Uh, cool. Wanted to say good and cool at the same time. It was weird. Alright, um, so 3 Surgical Extraction is always good. Um, for 2 last sideboard slots, well, we could decide on the, mana, on the deck that we want to beat. So... If you want to beat like mirror, red decks, we can decide Corfire Walker, but that's a bit awkward right now in the metagame since there are so many Blood Moon. Um, we could just honestly put two Skull Crack. I know Skull Crack is less good in a more creature deck, but just two is fine. Just one, you're gonna need it. At least you're gonna have one of them. And like something like this. Your curve is still very low, most of your cards cost one. This costs one most of the time, this will cost one most of the time, so just two skull crack is gonna be fine. I think I would probably bring something like this. Um, if I wouldn't, if I wanted to change the deck. Um, another possibility that I could see is remove the white completely and just go mono red, play some blood moons. I don't know, something like that. Blood Mage is very good right now. Um, remove the charms, rem remove the lures, the path, and just play Blood Moons with fetches. Um, no, uh, sorry, Mono Red with fetches. It, it works. Like, I mean, you're just gonna fetch for a basic mountain. You, this is gonna trigger, it's gonna work. Um, the last con consideration would be splashing green. Um, like going Naya with the Wild Nicottles or just being Gruel Aggro with um, a Thorcast Command. This card is really good in the Landfall Trigger deck um, because you can do Fetch, it's a 4-5, then before damage, a Thorcast Command, play another Fetch, give it plus 4, plus 4 again. A lot of damage. Uh, last thing is in a green shell would be Metagenic Growth. In a deck where there is Four Souls Car Mage, four Monaster Swiss Beer. This card is a really good offensive tool and a defensive tool. I would almost bring that in in a, just the deck, the normal deck, like maybe two Mtajnik, remove two Lava Dart, you're good to go. Um, it doesn't protect this card from Lightning Bolt, but every other creature is gonna be protected from Lightning Bolt. So two Mtajnik, I think, is the way to go. Um, if you want to go for a more aggressive, uh, like, prowess deck. So, of course, it doesn't look like a burn deck to me. More, it looks more like a prowess deck. But I think the original list looks look more like a prowess deck. So, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, little video, this uh, big video on me playing this deck. If you want to see more of these, of me picking up a list, trying it out, and then telling, telling me telling you guys which uh, things I would change or not, definitely let me know. I will play the list in the last video that I uh, saw. I think that was Ragdoll's Burn, Pioneer Burn. Uh, these are coming eventually. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time in another video. Bye-bye.